Hello! In this tutorial video, we'll go through the steps of estimating seismic fragility functions for a steel moment resisting frame based on its static pushover curve. This frame, shown in this figure, was designed for the purposes of a report for the uh, National Institute for Science and Technology titled Evaluation of the FEMA P695 Methodology for Quantification of Building Performance Factors. The four-story plane perimeter frame highlighted was modeled using the OpenSea's finite element platform. We then ran pushover analysis of the frame using a first-mode lateral load distribution. The resulting curve is also shown in the figure. The first step is to load the text file containing columns of base shear and corresponding roof displacement. The file also contains columns with the displacement at the other stories of the building. For this reason, we activate the Displacement at Multiple Storage button to make sure the program reads all of the available information. Now, we press the button labeled Define SDOF Backbone to run the optimization algorithm that provides a piecewise linear solution for the backbone curve of the equivalent single degree of freedom system. When a solution is reached, a window opens showing the backbone parameters. By pressing the button Edit Backbone Parameters, the user can intervene on the backbone curve. For example, let's get rid of that small residual strength returned by the solution to get a purely trilinear shape. Note that the blue dot appearing on the plot is the last point that the program finds the original pushover curve to be purely linear. We now press the Enter Dynamic Characteristics button and a new window opens. Number of stories is already set to 4 because SP2FRAG read 4 displacement columns in the pushover file. Now on to set story heights and masses. All stories are 3.96 meters high, except for the first one. So, we check the individual story height box, press the button and enter the story number and its own height of 4.34 meters. We follow the same procedure for story masses, where the first and last story have slightly different masses than the remaining. Now, we click on the Evaluate buttons under the Model Characteristics and Periods panels. This option is available when pushover displacements at all stories have been provided to the program. For this case, we choose to also check the box labeled Use Gamma Effective because this is a flexible structure for which higher mode effects can have a significant contribution. We now press the Generate IDA button obtaining three IDA fractal curves and go on to Define Limit States. Using the Define on SPO curve button, for the fully operational limit state threshold we choose a point on the pushover curve up to which behavior is almost linear. We repeat the procedure for the immediate occupancy limit state. This time we choose a displacement corresponding to a 2% interstory drift that brings us to the beginning of the plateau of the pushover curve. For the life safety threshold, we move towards the end of the plateau at 4% interstory drift. For the collapse prevention limit state, we choose a threshold defined by a 50% loss of lateral resistance on the pushover curve, which corresponds to an interstory drift of around 7.5%. This concludes definition of the limit state thresholds, which will now be plotted on the IDA panel. Next, we press the button labeled Include Additional Variability, and a new window with three panels appears. The panel to the left deals with additional variability near the yield point, for which we're going to use the values calculated by SPO to frag, so no changes there. On the rightmost panel, we shall add some variability due to model uncertainty by setting beta u at 0.4 at the collapse prevention limit state. These modifications cause the upper and lower IDA fractiles to move further apart. Next, we press the Estimate Fragility Curve button, and in the new window that appears, we type 2% into the damping box as this is a steel structure. The fragility curves have now been estimated and are plotted in the main GUI window. By pressing the button on the upper right corner of the graph, we get a window showing the values of the estimated log normal distribution parameters per limit state. By deselecting some curves from the checklist to the right and pressing the button Visualize Estimation Uncertainty, we get to see a fixed number of 2500 parametric boot bootstrap extractions for that fragility curve. Finally, we go to the File menu on the upper left corner and select Export Results. We are then prompted for a file name and a text file containing the session's main data and results is generated and saved to the disk for future reference.
In overview and summary, this program is a tool that analytically estimates structure-specific seismic fragility by simulating incremental dynamic analysis based on static pushover. It was developed at the University of Naples Federico II under a research contract with the risk consultant company AXA Matrix based in Milan. More details can be found in the paper published in the Journal Bulletin of Earthquake Engineering. There is a link to that at the comment section below. To request a copy of the program for research purposes, one can visit the website of Professor Iervolino, a link to which is also to be found below. We hope you found this tutorial video helpful. Goodbye.